Once this year in a best of three series, now in the best of five, it's two to one. We head into our third map, technically fourth in the series due to the upper bracket advantage Navi have come into today with. And we are seeing a little bit of util, two smokes. It could very well be the classic outside yards Astralis T pistol, if you will. Deep smoke from simple. Make that electronic. As uh, they take brown walls control very, very quickly. They're loud as you like on Perfecto. Over towards Ivy is this dual P250 in hand. Glaive the first to receive. Doesn't take any damage. But he will think better of re-peaking that position. cross round with Magus now, and up close towards Pop is Dupree. Two spotted Ivy then for the T side at this point. If they're going for the totem drop, it's going to be hard for Dupree to handle. And oh, wow, does well to find the first. Perfecto even turning around to try and make his head harder to hit. Dupree doesn't care. Four to four. That's a filthy way to do it there, isn't it? The way that uh, Perfecto just turned his back on Dupree. This one stalls out, but they're searching. Nice shots, flamey. I like watching this man play, especially when he's on. Magis has drawn blood though, and silences flamey after the double. Working their way out of main. That's the Molotov onto the bomb tray. Magis peaked and simple frags. And there's another one for Navi as they fill the feed. This pistol round continuing to be problematic for Astralis. And Electronic not gonna let Ezertags miss. Go unpunished either. Navi take the pistol round of our fourth map of the series. All right, well, let's see if Astralis can bounce back with a force by here. This is the drop. Flamey converting that one there on the ladder. That was he was on the ladder, the ladder there, yeah, I think. He, it's supposed to be inaccurate. <laughs> so uh, a bit of a lucky one there for him to pick on up, but a big kill nonetheless and a big round for Na'Vi as they start their T-sided campaign. We're going to see three Mac 10s a Galil and an AK-47 coming on out. Just the standard smokes coming on through. One towards Ebox, one towards Five Lane. Molotov over towards Sandwich. Pressure towards Ivy. From both sides, Electronic having to deal with Magus. Magus gets on the worst side of that, and wow, Electronic continuing forward. He's actually <laughs> going to be dealt with, and that's a Galil for Magus. Yeah, he can't, can't believe his luck. There is a bit of a speculative spray from Simple trying to stop that recovery, but he's not going to be able to commit too much to that. Glaive, however, tagged down to 46 as he patrols, and so do Anavi. Are they out? No. Still in main. Same me and Pop. Look at the utility they're working with here. It's only a smoke and two flashes. This is problematic for Na'Vi. Inner sounds good. Yeah, but they could rotate over quite early. They've actually sent Dupree with the Galil towards the B bomb site to meet up with Esatag, who has a smoke. As time whittles down on the clock here, we are just sub one minute. But if Esatag drops that smoke at an opportune time, roughly with 30 seconds left towards the low ramp or the high ramp, well, there it goes. Could be some real problems for Na'Vi. So Boomich making a couple of steps. They have pop control. Might just go for a yard pin. So they have to deal with the Galil and the Scout. I'm waiting to see what the final punch is from Na'Vi. Simple getting spotted. That's going to be a big bit of information relayed, but has to be kept with caution. Device now aware. Under threat, under oh. fire. Gets taken down by Boomich, and the pace now increases. Mages though, that Deagle is good. Boomich is on the site. Perfecto in between. And now we're into a 3v3. That was a really good chance from Magisk to break the bank. Nice frag. Does have time for a plant, though. Esatag found and converted. Dupree, though, this plant spot determines everything. He can get the frag. He oh. can. He can't. Simple plants in and gets away. Trying to oh. frag it. Dupree clutches up. Magnificent work. It looked so sketchy. He didn't want to go down. And instead, he'll get both kills. Na'Vi caught by surprise. The suppressing spray finds both of them. I'm really curious right there because as the bomb was getting planted the first time round, damage went I think it was through. S was S attack under the train? Yes. It must I was worried it was the player the tagging train. over the top of pop, but yeah. it was. Yeah. I thought that was like, has Dupree got some mental it, spam lined up or something? I'm pretty sure he got the assist on it. So oh. I, I'd, I'd assume it was S attack unless. Let's so see. This is it. He's starting to plant the bomb, and I think, yeah, he must get, yeah, so tagged under the train. Yeah. The Magus killed him under the train. Uh, sorry, that's that killed him under the train. All right, well, that, you don't see that every day of the week. No. Oh. you gotta, you got to be feeling a little brave after you've just taken on Simple, because you know he's taking that fight. Oh, yeah. Like, there's no one else like him. Yeah, he took a bit of page out of Carrigan's book and counted to three. All right, so the pistols are out for Na'Vi, just the light upgrade. They're not actually going in with the force by here. Towards Sandwich's Mega, Simple now searching with the Deagle. What can you do, my friend? <laughs> Catch an aid. So 
76 points of health remaining. Damage done to Magus now. In the meantime, the freeze taken. Pop Dog. More damage done to Navi. Feels like they're just going to get whittled away in this one here. Mm. No quarter really being given. Nice shots. That's hard fought for by Boomich to find device. That does open up a little bit of a dangerous area. Simple. Caught by the flame again. They are very low HP, excluding Flamey. Yeah, he's hoping to catch someone. Someone with a back turned. And Magic's not going to give him anything. Oh, he does. He gives him the fight. He felt confident. And now Na'Vi's Deagles. These are unarmored Deagles. This is practically an eco, a deco, a stretch. Now Na'Vi do have control, albeit... Oh, he caught it. The numbers favor him, but not on the health. Flamey's just trapped there now. They're trying to go in there. I guess this his presence alone is enough to keep the CTs present. He needs to survive. And now he continues to push the issue. Glaive has to deal with Flamey. And the more he survives, the less help Esatag gets. Oh, my oh he got oh, it! Wait, he's got the kill now. Dupree's probably so hyper-focused on this, but you're right. It's just Esatag here. Now, he does have an SMG. They are unarmored. They are They're very across. low HP, but they are across. The bomb gets dropped down. He's oh, heard this. Molly now comes in. That's going to be Boomich dead. No, he adjusts position well enough. s attack completely focused on one. Oh. Lucky. Seven seconds. To get this oh. one. No, he hasn't. Flamey Flame arrives from behind, oh. saves the day. But my goodness, had he found safe haven, seven seconds, Chad, you're right to scream it out. Oh, God. Nearly did enough converting that low HP, but I can't believe Na'Vi with just Deagles. Take the round, simple. You can th you can see why he sticks around in main for 45 seconds, because eventually the fights come his way. That's wild right there. So Boomich opened things up over towards Ivy, right? And then from there, it looked like it was all over because the low HP, they only had pistols, not armor. They just didn't have utility. Pistols. It was just upgraded pistols. And now Astralis have to force buy back in themselves. They've kept a little bit of residual cash. Magus has the least. $350 left. Oh, Perfecto tagged up early. And again, on the way out the door, needs to get away with his life and he will do so. Has to tag aggressive towards the box holes. The simple is taken down to Vice. So another opening here for Na'Vi in round number four. Molotov to hold them at bay. Now they're just... Oh, they're pushing up. This could be everything. If Esatag takes down Flamey, that's a lot of pressure. It's a big if. Oh, my Lord. Ooh wee That's some revenge. Oh, no. Wait. A taste of their own medicine coming straight back to Na'Vi. Faking the ladder climb. Boomage got a lot to do. A lot on his plate here. And already, just under the train, Magic is connecting warning shots. Boomage undeterred. And chipped down to 50. It could be the scout frag, and it's not. Oh. Boomage so brave. Does get finished off in the end. It's a three versus two, and they're sketchy. Electronic does well to make the 11 HP sing. But one Deagle bullet, and it does connect. S attack brings it into a 1v2. Perfecto to clutch. Finds the first. Magic's going to scout. And he is within that one scout bullet range. So this is by no means a guarantee. Up re I love falling that. towards the Z. Yeah, readjusting <gasps> position. He should have Perfecto here. He does. So well played by Magus. I wonder... I, I, I'm curious. I, I guess he thought that Magus would just stay over there towards that Ivy. But these last couple of rounds, ladies and gentlemen, have been weird. They've been very, very weird. Isolated jewels all across the map. The teams who look like they have the advantage dropping it. And this is the shot onto Simple towards Ivy. This was huge. Oh, damn. Great opening there from Magus. Glaive with the punish onto Flamey. Trying to deal with two positions at once. And then, well, running very, very loudly is Perfecto in the one-on-one -on -one situation. And the bullets into the corpse from Magus, two to two. Tied up in the early stages here. First timeout call from Astralis, potentially just to allow them to catch their breath because it has been odd. Uh, forced by Wars, I mean, coming through the uh, multi-kills, locking down an area. It's been these strung out frags a lot of mid-round decision-making to be made. So we get back underway with round number five. Bit of a hodgepodge buy for Na'Vi. A classic. No, this is a Na'Vi full buy, bro. We're ready to go. It's flaming electronic on the rifles. They have a lot of utility behind this as well, so they could aim for a little bit more of a set piece or conditioning with the utility as we see two smokes fly on out. These are deeper towards the bomb train. Also, one smoke towards the back of IV. Wow, Esatag just throws down a double. Just like that, the round gets difficult. It was already a bit of a mammoth task. Device is on the hunt for his first frag of train. Very quiet start for the AWPer. Haven't really seen the AWP at all. And he does go down. So that's a FAMAS delivered back. He just got two opening kills, though. What's the point of that aggression right there? I I'm really perplexed as to why that was necessary. 
It does mean Glaive has to work harder and they'll be spread a little thinner. But uh, other than that, Electronic is the next pot potential for damage, and he finds a great shot onto Magisk. Forces Dupree off the site. They regroup. Another ridiculous round potentially turned around. It was a double kill to open things up from S attack. Don't forget that. Now back to 11, level and even keel. Electronic, though. He's being hunted. I wonder if he's prepared for this Dupree hunt. Oh, my God, Electronic. Prepared or not, he still gets the kill. Maintains his life with 19 HP, but Glaive is an additional factor he might not be accounting for. That's one, and that's not Electronic. That's Glaive with the second, so they know there was more than one coming their way, and Glaive puts a stop to this madness. These first couple of rounds, I, yeah. I, I've got to say, I know this sounds very strange, but it does feel almost like an offline event because sometimes it just goes so far beyond the norm. They play these kind of very curious rounds. We see the pistols coming out and doing well. We see these weird buys coming in. But it looks like, have, have Na'Vi finally run out of money here? The, the whole start like? was curious. Going straight for a totem drop without buying any respect over to Pop Dog is a weird one. Uh, the, the kills that came in from Electronic, it felt like he should never have been able to get away with that second. Uh, and now it will just be... Well, nothing really for Na'Vi. Electronic into the ladder room. A little bit too far out of his range right there as Esatag will mop that up. Device over towards the inner bomb side again. So this is quite curious to see. The smoke towards lower. Up towards the box. Also, oh. Dupree playing on the ladders now. Okay, so this round here is just going to fall apart for that of Na'Vi. Boomage and Simple remaining. An interesting stat that I want to keep an eye on is just how influential the opening kills have been, or rather how uninfluential they've been. Great shot from Simple, just to stop it from being a full five survive. But the opening kills, Astralis leading. Six rounds of play, five opening kills to Astralis. Na'Vi to find the odds in one of those, but just keep track of that. That could be something that Na'Vi continuing to flex their 4v5 statistic, the highest rated team in converting at four versus five disadvantage. Okay, well, we should see the guns come out, but there'll be no AWP for simple. So if that was part of the game plan here, they will have to take another save, and that's not the case. The AKs come out, the utility follows. Let's see the pace from Na'Vi, because on the other side of things, Astralis Device has his AWP. Master Tag will now go back towards that inner bomb site. Early u protocol utility towards main. Quick from simple. There's a fire in pop. Very quick. Dupree. Falls for the molly. Magisk having a cursory glance. Two walking. Oh, Ooh. the sound cue. That spread. That's going to really keep them on their toes. Simple. Trying to fake them with the jump. Decides things better of it. Dupree, this, oh. is, this is ridiculous. No way Simple's ready for that. Caught completely unawares. So frustrating. It was Flamey that went down in the end. But my God, that's going to cause some problems because he can call the whole thing clear. Dupree's just walking through Brown Hall saying, yeah, you're good. Get out of there. There's, there's, there's three members of Astralis on the inner site, but now all of them can head out elsewhere. They will have their defense on the right side of the map. <laughs> this is it for Navi. They, they have to commit to this, right? Yeah, oh. but it's not going to be fun. They're burning now. Perfecto's been separated. Now they flash him. It could have been the Magisk push. That would have been a 3v5 right there. Book up. Magisk, this is it. Can't get it done. Device on the trade out, but oh. takes damage for it. S attack ready to go. Capitalizing on the flash coming through from the T's. And this is a shutdown. Everything was noted. The whole picture had been seen. The fog of war removed by Dupree. Banging up the ladder. What the hell was he up to? Yeah, that's yeah. wild. I guess because he had the MP9, wanted to play for more information there. But that's an unorthodox move in itself. Just pushing up the ladder. Normally a position that's heavily watched. And here, S attack forcing forward through the smoke, completely denying this yard take from Na'Vi. They were kind of left with no options. So at this moment, Astralis are dictating the pace of the tone of this game. Back down to the pistols are Na'Vi. Lost Burn is starting to build now. Yeah, I, I've got to, you know, catch up as what's going on here, because this has been such a strange start to this game. Five to two, opening pick now for Device onto Simple. Lots of damage being done to Flamey and Perfecto in the meantime. And even just looking at the tempo over all of this game, double nades, but may just under pressure. Hold on. So he's been picked up. No one else that close by. So I guess Ivy's a bit of a problem. Device now has to turn attention towards this. Um, 
it was the first time we'd, I, I feel we'd seen Astralis leading the pace. Even on Nuke, it was a bit of a weird back and forth between the two. And obviously, Dust2 is all Narvis. So first time, it looks like they're at least controlling for now. Could still be changed. We've seen what these Deagles can do without anything beside them, let alone armor. The three now posted towards Ivy. So they've actually given the Deagle over to Boomich, I believe. Electronic onto that Tech-9 now. Similar to uh, Bogdan's Law with the AWP, I suppose. Another flash towards Ivy. Just posture it up, waiting. Na'Vi, absolutely no rush right now. But if they can get past and they leak devices, rip here. Oh my god, don't worry about leaking. Just take him out of the equation. Is this going to be another one of these? Because now Glaive's on an island. He's isolated, down, dead. Dupree called upon to try and save this, but the bomb's going to be planted. Yes, Esetai can get around the back. Perfecto still lives. S tag does find electronic, and the HP is very are. low. But you're right. Both now noted. S tag creeping in. He's going to try and deny the plant. Yes, he does. Instantly sprays around. Well handled by S tag. But I thought another one was about to go Navi's way. It did look like it. They really do know how to make something out of nothing. Mountains out of molehills. It is six to two though. And Navi can look to try and borrow their heads a little deeper into this T side. It is not sufficient. Two will not do. I would be frustrated with this if oh, I was Na'Vi. Like, they, sh they probably should have at least been able to get the bomb down because they knew where both players were. And then Flamey still went and planted in a more open position. So I'm a little bit perplexed as to what was the communication in that mid-round right there from Na'Vi. But nevertheless, we're back underway. Orp out for simple. Pop control feels like something Na'Vi want every single time. Oh, my God. God, that's going to burn. Quick pace, though, comes out. It's met by force. Astralis don't seem too fussed by this just yet. And yes, that high priority pop position seems to be noted. The loss of Dupree is unfortunate, but the flank coming out from Magisk is perfect. His positioning couldn't be better. He's going to find Simple in a bomb. Bides his time to find Flamey. Oh, this is a bit sloppier now. And now Flamey's found it. Uh oh, a bit of a mistake, a bit of a fumble. And Esatag is now in a 1v2. Bomb's loose on all offside. Vector realizing there's a timer on this. He needs to pick that up now before it's contested. This attack here hears that. He'll work with that information. He knows the bomb's been retrieved. Knife out. Doesn't want to make him too much of an announcement. They don't know where he is. That unknowing is his bonus. Because look at Flamey. Completely caught out. A 1v1 emerges. Perfecto. Could catch a little bit of flack from that. But it's the duel and S attack. Another impact round the Dane, the new addition. 16 to 4. That is a performance swing up from him. That's huge. Like, he was fine on the other maps, I think. He did his job. I don't think we've seen him hitting these sort of numbers anywhere near this early on. This is great stuff from Air Attack. I mean, the fact of the matter is, that, yes, statistically, he was coming into this one as the one of the best, if not the best, Astralis member from the group stage. Playoffs device took the crown, but here in the grand final in its microcosm, Esetag really is coming alive here on train. Don't forget, he's the inner player. To have 16 to four when they haven't really hit your sight is impressive. I think a pause need, is needed for Na'Vi at some point here because we're already 10 rounds into play as we get underway. How often do Na'Vi call pauses, bro? I, I just feel like they need to chill out a bit because <laughs> these mid rounds, I am so confused as, as to what the comms must be sounding like or the information. I know we can see everything, but I'm sure they've at least seen something. Flash is going to come on through. Magus ready to fight. Flash on both sides. Okay, well, they've heard the AWP. Yeah. They know the flash. They're going to think better of that one right there. Dump out their smoke. Look at look. Dupree. Yeah, constantly going aggressive. He is such a thorn in their side. Any gap you may have is being looked and investigated and potentially exploited by Dupree. He's been given a degree of freedom here, it seems, yeah. that is unfathomable from the old Astralis roster. And this one, I'm wondering if this is maybe the map they've been able to put the most time in towards, the comfort with Esetag coming in. Could this be what Astralis wants to look like eventually on he all maps? He walks up that ladder again, I swear. He did it with the MP9 Surely and got a not. double. There's no way he tries and gets the timing again. He might flank late, but if he goes up now, he'd be an absolute madman. Yeah, He's oh, absolutely. Opening. Look at this, double up. The aggression is unbridled from Astralis. Who are these men? And what have they done with the... By the book, Astralis. Two stacked in the smoke on ramp, dropping the incendiary as they reposition. Simple drawing his best to do something, but Astralis are making a pretty damn strong case for nothing on that T-side push. They're up 9-1 in terms of opening jewels now. Yup, said we should keep a thin finger on that pulse. They want to drop down. That's what S-Attack is holding. 
Oh, it's such a nice little angle from him. He doesn't have to expose himself, but he chooses to. And that's the end of that. Eight wow. to Astralis. Nine to one in opening Jules chat. That is a stat in uh, oh, one, a wow. very quick sweeping statement to summarize. Yeah, and of those, uh, Dupree's 3-0, and Esa Tag's 2-0, and zero. Magus is 2-0. and o. The only one who's given up an opening duel has been Device so far. And it's through this proactive play. We've seen them be quite aggressive all across the map. Think about how that round started. There was going to be a fight over towards Ivy. Next minute, Magus is down towards the low ramp, pushing up through a smoke with Esa Tag. You've got Dupree pushing into main. They're taking the fight to Na'Vi. This is why I say they need a pause, because I don't know if they've really considered what they're getting dealt right now. Oh, the damage, look at this. Oh, the mollies are good. Another opening. Now Boomich is through though, able to find Magus unawares, maybe put in a little bit of an awkward spot, but the turret comes out from Glaive. Now Glaive and Device were both low and they've been Hang found. On. So yeah, there is threats aplenty. Dupree is gonna be really asked to be smart about this, but Esatag, this guy, I, I, I am amazed by the different look of Esatag here. Like, he's been great before. He's been fine. You know, that ramp play, we liked it. But this looks like comfort. This, this is, is like 20 confidence. frags, Lauren, in 11 rounds. He Ooh. is the inner player. 20 and 4. Na'Vi. <laughs> they house some of the most impressive raw talent in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, but Esatag's making them look like fools here. Multi-kill rounds. I've got Esetag's stats in front of me. He has only got two for zero in terms of multi-kills, but the mass doesn't check out there. There's Hugo Byron in the center there, looking wow. very cool. He, he refuses to go anywhere without his glow-up keyboard, so he's brought that with him. It's a fashion piece, is it? Yeah, it's, a, it's more of a statement. It's his identity. He considers gaming keyboards that. to kind of uh, summarize him. I love it so forward-facing these days with him. Yeah, you've just got to communicate, you know, who you are from the get-go. So he carries it around, kind of like a yeah. skateboard under his arm. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool. That's Hugo Byron. You'll find him on Twitter. <laughs> Nine to two, though. Navi did finally call the timeout that Chad was asking for. He did. And, and maybe a necessity at this point, but a 9-2 to two recovery is going to be tough. The pace, the look is very versatile from Astralis, and it's been quite aggressive as well. Yeah, in pursuit of some damage control, it's certainly not out of the realms of possibility, but it does need to be a switch up. We need to start seeing some brown on blue. It really has only been one-way traffic at this point in time. We've double-checked it. There it is. S-Attack has eight multi-kill rounds. Thank you. That makes so much more eight? sense. Yes, eight. Eight multi-kill <laughs> rounds in 11 <laughs> rounds. That does check out. Bloody hell. I did think that was a little uh, out now of date. The man we haven't been saying much about, who often is uh, a point of topic, is Device. But again, hasn't had to do as much, but this round he will have to. Sadly for him, Simple's got the, got the better angle, got the better shot, and gets the better start to things for this round. So keep your eyes on Flamey. He's been given a lot of responsibility. Electronics going for the in inner smoke from here, an IP showing us this one first and foremost. It's actually a bit of a different take, or he's failed it. I think that's a complete fluff. Unless his intentions are to isolate this IV player, in which case, it's done that. He's done it nicely. Nutmeg again. We saw yeah. it. Oh, we see it again, and oh. it delivers again. I'm amazed they got away with that twice now. You know, once is, is enjoyable, twice is a problem. Now, Electronic does manage to take down Glaive, so this will call in a lot of support to come back towards A. The bomb now on Simple, been found, been spotted, been tagged, but he's still standing, refusing to relent. But Electronic's got less tag. Magis now isolates the bomb, nine seconds. Dupree's quickly there, but now it's going to be a, no a mission to survive for Magis. No he has to fade into the shadows and Three, not two, die. One and ten. I can't quite believe it. That's not how you count. One, two, three, ten. But it is the reality for Na'Vi. They have just simply run out of time. A bit of a Na'Vi classic. It's happened. Real not ideal situation, though, for it to be in, happening in a grand final. s -Attack's pretty good, huh? I like it. It's uh, wild scenes as to what we're seeing here. It's normally with Astralis, you know, when they have Zipex in the roster and he's playing more of that passive style towards the inner bomb site. The rotates are coming on through. They're mopping up the leaks when they hit the site. When you're seeing this version of Astralis play, they're Never aggressive towards box holes. Never they're constantly taking this territory back and, oh dear. This is the second time out now for Navi. And, and this is the first time I think I've seen an Astralis that isn't leaning on device as much. Now he's doing- uh, He's got four kills. He's, he's fine. Yeah. He, 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 <laughs> that's it, he lost that last fight with Simple, but that was the first time I've seen him really 
having to instigate much. I, and again, this is a very different look Astralis, and we personally, casting during the regular play, never got to see their train. It, it was mostly with, with the other casters. So if this is what they've been doing the entire time, and maybe Na'Vi didn't see much of it either, they might have walked in a little bit blind and now come oh, out a little bit yeah. dazed. I hope they are much more prepared for it than what we're seeing right now, because this here is a bit of a shellacking coming in from Astralis. You like that one, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, I, I don't know. Normally at this point, I'd be posing a bit of a threshold. How many rounds is good enough? Maybe four for Na'Vi at this stage of the game. This round right here, they will definitely be conceding. Uh, and I'm saying that just based off of how the other rounds are, are petered on through. The pistols have looked a little bit more threatening, right? They've been able to get a little bit more brawly and then they get mopped up within the late stages, but there's yet another opening. Look at this, man. Astralis are just giving us a tutorial and it once again brings that question into the forefront of my mind, Chad, which you asked in the pre-map, which was, why train? Yeah, I, I thought it would have been Dust 2 and then Inferno. It would have been my second choice if I was Na'Vi, but potentially with some fear of the old Astralis on Inferno. Well, this version of Astralis hasn't looked anywhere near as good on that map. And that means that uh, we won't even be seeing it within the series. So after train, if Astralis do win this, which is trending in that direction right now, we will be seeing Overpass as the decider. Now remember, Astralis have been in two Pro League finals before this, both of which they won. So if they come into this one, they take it, they will go uh, to the team to win the most ESL Pro League titles of all time, currently tied with Fnatic at two. We're we actually seeing a good final and maybe five maps. Well, well, technically, I suppose, because the, the fifth map's already been played. But we, we <laughs> never know. go the entire series. Yeah, normally we don't. I think the last one that I remember was back, uh, was it FaZe versus Fnatic, Katowice 2018, absolute banger. Most of the time, it's just a yeah, whitewash. Teams just destroying Dad, the other. You, you were out just grabbing a drink before when I brought up Estatag score. Have yeah. you processed that 22 and 5 properly? Well, yeah, eight multi kills in there, something along those lines, right? I mean, the fact of the matter is, Device, at this point in time, is there to support him, but I don't know how much support he needs. Here's oh. Dupree. Do it. Up to his usual just, antics. Just do it. What's his cue? Electronic is the late arrival. Good nade. Look at that one. Simple caught as he sets up. Astralis with their utility damage. This is ridiculous. And I, 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 just because everything's going right for them, I see a, a world where as Electronic, yeah, as he, che as he checks, as he calls it clear, Dupree catching a timing, it's certainly not unrealistic. Five of them gathered now. There's three players in or already from Astralis to deal with this. Check this out. They're locked in. You're right. And they're doing this brilliant setup on upper. That smoke does nothing because the CT can play in front of it. Esetai gets his 23rd frag. Magisk onto Boomich as well. Na'Vi, this is a disaster. They're just falling by the wayside. One man after another. Magisk with a triple kill this time, just affixing another three frags to his 13 frags he came in with. And it means that the final round of play is for Astralis's 13th. Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. overpass is... Beckoning. I, I don't want to say a guarantee because I don't like to give those, but this one feels like five all over. This is so wild, right? Because if there was one map that you were going to think, man, you know, we'd really like to have Zipex there to be able to lock yes. down a bomb right. site, oh, sure. it would be in or on train. And Esetag is actually doing that and even more so. Leading the server, 23 kills, one assist, five deaths. His ADR, bloody off the charts. <laughs> Mental, isn't this it? is just while the auto snipers come out. Someone use it. Don't leave it there. Come on. You always someone, do it. Someone get it. Pick it up. It's not BM. It's actually a fantastic gun. And just because you guys plan your matchmaking, call them auto noobs, doesn't mean you shouldn't be using them. I've seen people actually abandon matchmaking games when someone bought an auto. That's the craziest thing. It's a very, very good gun. Yeah, imagine taking other people's opinion and presenting it as your own, like, gospel, just because you want to fit in. Imagine that. I mean, I understand when you're 16, but once you get older than that, it's your it's your mistake, it's your choice. Oh. Dupree has oh, two nades thrown towards him. Unfortunately, physics favor him. And his more back. More back. <laughs> Everything's going their way. It is, it really is. He's even going to replace that incendiary so they can't drop down, catch come on, the timing. Come on. And is he going to swing back as they drop? He is. Hello. <laughs> Look at all that damage. They're both so low. Hey, it's just has got a lot to do, though. Their the third has relieved some pressure. That's a good chance for Glaive. He doesn't quite convert. He should go down. Boomich can shores of that. Magisk, though, a lot to do. Perfecto baits the shot. Simple only has a scout. He will not be as much of a threat as Device as he pulls the trigger on one. Esetag getting away by the skin of his teeth. Bombs down. Two on three. 
Just three so far for Device as well. We haven't seen him. We haven't had to see him. And maybe this is around he makes the big impression. Boomich on one HP. Esatag on one HP and Device doesn't care for the symmetry. Goes and gets the Diffuse and another on the board. 13. My word, I have never seen Na'Vi look this outplayed, this outdone. If this is the new Astralis, bring it on. Take us to the next map. But before we get there, we have to go to a break. Let's see how far Na'Vi can pull this back. I feel on top of the world right now. I feel on top of the world. I feel on top of the world right now. I always wanted the world. I want to conquer the world right now. I feel on top of the world. I feel on top of the world right now. Top of the world. I feel on top of the world right now. I feel on top of the world. I feel on top of the world right now. I always wanted the world. I want to conquer the world right now. I feel on top of the world. I feel on top of the world right now. Top of the world. I feel on top of the world right now. I feel on top of the world. Good gracious, it's 13 to 2 on train here. The fourth map of this best of five. Na'Vi coming in with the one map advantage. Upper bracket versus lower. Astralis versus Na'Vi. They posted two rounds, and that was in the first three rounds of play. Astralis going on a 12-round spree. Leaves us at a 13 to 2 half. It is rather absurd. We could be heading into new Ferry. Let me try again. Where is that final map? Overpass. Overpass. Could oh, be. That was, that was nice. I've never harmonized before, Chad. It's a first time for everything. Now, just coming into this half, I do want to highlight as well, Estag and Magic both sitting at 93% KAST. That's high. That's ridiculous. That is very high. 93% of the time, they've either been killed or got the kill, yep. got the assist, or have been traded. Pretty mad. <sighs> oh. 
obviously now the side switch comes in. Navi. I mean, <laughs> let's. I'm not. I'm not going to start building anything other than overpass I'm, until you know I see what? the three. The first three is like 13.5. First yep. buy, then 37. Uh -huh. Then give me a 39 and I'll start building. I'll okay. start building at there's, nine. There's the bar. There yeah. is the. At this Alex point in time, bar. overpass is on the cards and I'm down for it. But let's see if Flamey can start this pistol off right. Huh? Flashed off. Four of them descending. Oh, anyone that goes for that fight is Jeez. dead. Molly and bullets. Glaive already planting. Astralis intimidating. The retake setup, and they've already lost everything here. They have to comb back through all these lanes. That's a good opening from Simple. Perfecto's found one. Steps, it's the right direction that they're taking, and Simple is dragging them through this. Device now a 1v3. There is a smoke. He doesn't have a molly anyway, but he knows where the bomb is. But Boomer should have him dead to rights. Good tag. Gets it, but there's the defeat. Okay. Good round, Na'Vi, get on the board. Only one surviving there, but it is the round nonetheless, and they're third so far in this third map of the series. The question is, do Astralis want to finish this off as quickly as possible? Or do they want to play their classic percentages? Well, I'm going to say they might want to finish it off as quickly as possible. That is suggested by Device's AK-47 buy. He had that Kevlar remaining from the pistol round because he did stay alive. You can see him finishing off uh, simple just there on the high ramp and upgrading to that USP. Now, one of the notes so far on train is this aggression from Astralis on the CT side. Dupree pushing yeah. up pop, Dupree pushing main, flash pushes towards Ivy, double man low ramp pushes coming on through. I think this is a different looking Astralis from what we're used to, at least in terms of their play style. It's not by the book, it's not the percentages all the time. They're actually taking some risks and that destabilized Na'Vi within that first half. They couldn't find any solutions. Not only that, that aggression, it's even better on the T side. If they can take some space, find some jewels, they're coming into this with three AK-47s. A scout on device, a deagle for Dupree. Thereby, you could argue, is looking better than that of Na'Vi's. Obviously, the utility for Na'Vi's looking chock-a-block. The weapon's much more potent. Ebox smoke comes on out, limping a smoke out main as well. Nice CT smoke. Look what that's done. That was supposed to be their go. But they just stare at a grey screen and think better of it. That's a really perfectly timed smoke. Buys them some time. The uncertainty starting to grow for Astralis. Certainly not for Na'Vi. No one moving a muscle, really. Electronic is looking to sweep into Glaive's corner. And he finds the frag trading. And in priority, and Magisk makes short work of Electronic. Spots another investigating pop dog, but that was the frag simple. Wanted. Oh, it's just as easy as that. Three heads walking into his crosshair. Minor adjustments required. Just Dupree. They brought three AKs. He's only got the unarmored deagle. He took the uh, short end of the stick. If I'm Na'Vi now, the best thing to do is get everybody over towards main and pick up those AKs. They've done exactly that. And if Boomich can go get the M4 that Simple was wielding, they're going to rock into the next round with an extremely wow. good buy. So this is a fantastic upgrade, but the key now is not going down. Dupree will want to die. He needs that loss bonus to come through. So looking for fights with 20 seconds left, you get a couple of choices. Stan, just take him out of the round, hide and try and kill him after the time. But mainly don't drop any rifles. And Flamey, he will stay alive, even upgrading into that Deagle right now. So Electronic will be dropped across a rifle. Simple could do so. Looks like it was actually Perfecto throwing that one across within the early stages there. He has head armor, he has light utility and a diffuse kit, so he could buy in the M4. It was simple. Okay, so they made it work. The buys come on through. They'll have three AKs, two M4s, and everything that they need going into the third round here, whereas Astralis not being able to get anything done, no plant, means the save will come through on their side of things. You can see an upgrade into a Deagle from Magus. P250s for everybody else. And the idea here is just to make this as costly as possible. Make sure Na'Vi have to reinvest going into the first gun round and allow them to start building a bank this early. Smoke and Nade will already come out towards this Ivy position from Flamey. And now they've heard that Deagle, they know what they're dealing with on the other side. Electronic, inquisitive as ever, AK in hand. Need to hit a couple of shots, has lost one. 
that, eventually converting, but he is in a little bit of trouble. We'll go down to Glaive. Yeah, that's nice. Good play. AK not going to be retrieved. They're not willing to commit too far into pack. that. Pack. Yeah. Crystal pack. Going towards the inner. At the moment, there is only Perfecto there. Esther Tank in pop for the push. If they go up, uh, Perfecto is staring right at it. A smoke means he can focus all of his attention there. And this should be a multi-kill. So many players shooting at him. He eventually goes down with nothing. This will be the plan out of only P250s. It shouldn't be anything else, though. Bang. Nade doesn't do anything. Just a bit short. Magic found by Flamey. This should be tied up neat and tidy. If Astralis can find something here. Oh, that's one, but quickly traded. This is getting sketchy. Kit is on Flamey. It, sh it shouldn't be a problem. The thing from Device. That shot was just incredible. And now yes, Brumich, he the, the kit. kit. He has to get up to that kit or he has to sit the bomb plant. Now, I don't know if Device knows about the kit or not on Boomich. He's going to check regardless. But if he plays this right... There's no time now. Exactly. Device is playing this so, so well. That one shot that came through was great. The patience oh, he just wow. shown. And I, if I'm Navi, I'm livid. I couldn't have painted a better picture for them in that round, considering everything they had and what they were going up against. And the fact that Navi dropped the ball here. Astralis is sucking all the oxygen out of the room. Navi look like they are done. On toast here, on train. Oh, if I was them, I'd want to be getting out of the server as quickly as possible and getting over to overpass because this is a nightmare. You can't be dropping rounds like that. It's a tilt factor for sure. Okay, well, they will cobble together a buy. UMPs, AK, M4, and a scout. But this is feeling hopeless now as Astralis have played a fantastic game of train here. They're going to keep that undefeated record with Estatag on this map under lock. As Na'Vi, they pick this. Picked into a little bit of a trap right now. Obviously thinking there was something they could exploit about Astralis' approach. Their CT holds. Maybe Na'Vi just confident it was a better map for them, but clearly not the case here today. As this will be two maps on the trot for Astralis, tying the series up at 2-2. And only two more rounds to find. This is one of those games where it just feels like a matter of time until we get across the line. It would be quite the comeback, wouldn't it? To go down... Oh, sweep. Yeah. 0-2 in a series. A best of five series. And to come back... Taking us... 3-2. Nearly gets both of them. Fair play to Boomich. Cross their placement on point. Doesn't get to tell the tale, though. Electronic flashed in. Hoping to catch someone walking through that smoke, but Magis more passive than anticipated. Is Glaive the only one with the smoke? I think so. Yeah, so Glaive's the only one who could potentially do anything smoke-wise. Beyond that, we've got Electronic very focused towards Ivy, trying to stay safe from the rest. Flamey watching that cross. It is only with the scout. And now with 20 seconds, they do need to make something of this. This is where these even slightly weaker buys can become very, very scary. Position now noted. Flamey going to adjust round. Matrix is there to catch. Bit of a trade out on damage, 12 seconds now. They've got to get themselves on towards the side. They have, but they've lost the player. Dupree goes down, eight seconds. Fecto wants to play this to the perfect time. Device keeps him safe. The bomb is left loose. Device can do nothing. Just has to back away. Keep the AWP in play and Na'Vi win the round. Okay, maybe a couple more rounds in this one yet as Device has actually upgraded now and gone into a bit of head arm, I think it was, from the Kevlar. Oh, he already had that armor. So maybe it's some light utility there being purchased on in. Not a lot of money left over with the whole uh, saved AWP situation. And now forced by behind it. So four deagles, utility as well, head armor for all of them. And well, Navi, they need to weather this storm. It's going to be 10 in a row just to get to overtime. 11 if they want to take this. And that's a good start to round 20. Big nade, lots of damage done to the device and Glaive. Dupree. Catching a tickle as well there. <laughs> and there's the opening. So just limping in right now. Astralis are trying to play off the cuff a little bit. See if they're able to take any space away from Na'Vi. Find any gaps like they're able to do on those CT side pushes. But this can get out of control very quickly, especially if they lose this without doing too much damage. I know they had success on the pistols before, but that was a bit of a miracle round. What does Device do with this? He's the one who's got the... 
instigate a potential. Electronic's getting quite curious about this, though, and he loses his lot. Magus just got Boomich as well. Simple has now walked back in to where both of them have just died. He has found Magus, so that threat has been removed. But does he know about Device getting through this? The Molotov indicates they've got an idea someone could do this, but Glaive's the one with the bomb. Simple finds his third, could very well be extending the impending doom. Glaive to clutch up. Plant is something. No smoke. One kit and the Molotov will be on Glaive, but doesn't go for the traditional post-plant position. What a game of endurance at this point. <sighs> so keeps it clean. <laughs> Every moment it feels like maybe Astralis could steal a way around, just getting in the right place. He had a Molotov. I was starting to paint the picture in yeah. my mind of how that one could have unfolded. But going and scavenging what they need to over towards Yard, Simple will be getting that Diffuse coming on through. Has the AWP. Flamey's picked up with the Org. We have Perfecto on that M4A4. So they're by looking a lot better now. Six rounds on the board. <laughs> Jesus. It's a big second shot there from Magus. Finding the adjustment. Going to need a uh, gargantuan performance from everybody on Na'Vi. It can't just be the one-man show if they want to get back into this. So as we take a look... Going into round number 21, it will be the pistols again from Astralis. The Eagles, Tech Nines, Utility. Smokes towards five and Evox again. CT's dropping two Molotovs towards Main and Olaf, respectively. In towards Pop Dog, we have Boomich tucked with that MP9. Over towards Inner Perfecto, looks like he might be up for the plate. I'm getting overwhelmed. Smoke down lower. Looks like they're ready to go on this. Might have seen the shadow of him backing away there. So they might know he's fallen slightly deeper on this. The flash is try and set device in motion. Does get found. Deeper smoke comes in, but simple is quicker. Yeah, Dupree's trying to get the digits punched in, and he does manage to get the majority of that plan complete. <clears throat> Not going to be the victory, though. It's going to be another Na'Vi hold against these Deagles. It's time for the fall by, though. Glaive 6.7 can put the AWP in device's hands. And whether or not that's a component of this Astralis T side is uh, something that remains to be seen. So a quick recap, we've seen one T side round. It was that 13 to two half. I can't believe I'm saying that. 13 to two half. Uh, at the moment, Na'Vi though have definitely battened down the hatches. Two bomb plants so far, successfully from Astralis. Just seeing the third full a bit short there as Dupree his plant denied, not an extra 800 bucks, which would have put them in the full flush by. Regardless, we're into it. Round 22, map. Okay, so setting up some Molotovs over there towards Pop Dog, making sure the CTs can't have that under their remit appears to be the plan. Early Nader out onto Dupree, just going to do 11 points of damage. Now he goes, the flash was good, Boomich goes down. They were able to isolate him, and that's a massive pick within the opening stages here. Mm. Continuing that success, finding opening kills are Astralis. And now that they have the 5v4 advantage in their favor, Heading back over towards Inner, but it's already Simple. They're very aware of this. Simple leans back out, gets one. It's a one-for-one one trade, but Perfecto goes unnoted. Major seems aware, checks on it, deals with it. S-Tag pushes forward on it. Yeah, that smoke's going to lock him out completely. Flamey's the only one with a voice in this round at the point. At this point, yeah, especially now Electronics gone, and there's a tag hitting everything. The dude is on fire. Grabbing himself the AWP as well. Looks like Device has got a hold of that. But man, oh man, let's see as the tags for frags again. So he gets the second one, but the third comes so quickly after. Look at that! The dude's a robot. Great to see that the individual picked up into the Astralis roster is doing that star proud and then some. 27 frags for him. Looks like he wants to take us to overpass. And he finds Astralis first weapon round here on the T side. Finish line now in sight for Astralis. They need just one more. And they get to that final map. Everything all tied back up. Boomich trying to change what? that, though. Sticks nice. around to get the kill on Glaive. And that's a big player removed. You can see s instantly cautious of this now. Would you double dip, Boomich? Go on, Boomich. Give us a wall bang. He does. He tags him up to 32. He's hitting him through the floorboard. Significant damage dealt. Maybe. Now, V, I've got more to show. 23. It would require quite the slew. Seven rounds required just to get to that... OT point. I just don't think the statistics point towards Esetag not doing what he just did again at some point in that slew of seven required. So, simple. Flashed off. 
reveals his location. Electronic in support on that green train. Flamey actually making the second orb work. Two orbs, one frag. Oh, hell. Nice moves, baiting in the info. He's gonna confirm Simple's location on that bomb train. And he gets him to Vice, switched on. Boomich switches him off. It's the flick of the switch, and Electronic shut down Dupree. It's gonna be a stag to back away from this. Nothing more to be seen there for him. He could try and make it anything he wants to, but it should be the round very favorable towards Na'Vi now with 25 seconds on the board. And obviously the bomb lost where it is. It looks like he's gonna go for damage here though. It's going to be the $2,400 loss bonus for the next round for Astralis. If he can take away more of these rifles, you can see Na'Vi have no money to work with. So 15 seconds now as the tag forcing forward and Flamey will take him out. Any kills he could have found there would have been huge. And actually, there was a moment where the CTs held three orps. This is Boomich towards the top of Pop Dog, finding that kill onto Glaive and kicking things off with the opening frag. And that was that orp shot from Flamey. So in transition, they're trying to cover off and help Electronic. We'll take Magus out. And as we... See now eight on the board. So yeah, seven more for Navi required if they want to go to overtime. Pistols again for Astralis here. A light upgrade for everybody. And back towards that B bomb site, looking to see if they can punish Perfecto. He's dropped that Molotov very, very quickly. The rotation from Simple is already on the way, but they're going to be out high ramp. They are, and Simple's there to retrieve. Oh, oh no, a missed. Not going to make the same mistake again. They're looking for a bomb plan here. Oh. They found more than a bomb plan. Three. They potentially find a round here. Perfecto's tagged up. Oh. He's fragged up. Zipping up the body bag was Glaive. Now Magisk has got himself the bomb plan. And Flamey orps for the retake. It's just not ideal. If he could find one, there we go. We're back into the realms of possibility. Flamey tipping the scales ever more in Na'Vi's favor. It's Glaive and Assessor tag. Glaive just took a chunk of damage down to half HP electronic closing it on the site. He's going to have a second to execute. And now Esther Tag. This is a horrifically tall task. He's not looking. OK, okay. electronic. They got it. They got it back. And honestly, thank Mr. Flamey for that bad boy. That looks almost too dangerous. Where's the second orb? Where's the second orb? It's there. Is it, is it there? I think I just saw whoever was at the top right for uh, Na'Vi pick it up. Must have been Boomich then, because he only had a Deagle in his hands there for the tail end of that round. So. Simple really needs that AWP if they want to keep wielding this double op setup. Did they get it? Yeah, they did. Okay, so 15 to 9 now. Timeout called. One left in the back pocket for Astralis and only one more round needed. So being liberal with these in the second half, why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, plenty of rounds to work with here. Six now is the target for Na'Vi that they're chasing to take us to overtime. The more that they expend right here just to get back into this map, the more energy they are depleting for uh, Overpass that is coming up as the potential for map number four. Remember, Na'Vi started with that one map advantage from coming through the upper bracket, picked up Dust 2 to set themselves up with a 2-0 lead. And if Astralis pick this one up, well, they're on for the reverse sweep. We'll be tied up at 2-2. Underway we go. Orp out for Device. Flamey and Simple with the double Orp on that. CT side. Four players leaning towards Yard. Very standard stuff here on train. Perfecto towards Inner dropping his smoke and flash very quickly. Deal with that will be S attack. So it might be an early duel towards low ramp. Marking Flamey's chances here. He's got three targets approaching. They've left that bomb and T spawn as outlined. So this is nothing more than a scouting mission. I say that though, but with bated breath, it seems Dupree was considering something, but backing away now. Okay, Lurk Smoke comes out, and that's going to keep Flamey on notice. He needs to be careful because they could either pounce through that or take territory, but Flamey... This is great. ...pushing through. That's information. That is huge from Flamey. If he goes any further, Magus is on the other side. Boomich's position... ...supported, obviously, by Electronic, but Electronic's having to keep safe a couple of angles, but he's committing to this one now. Surely they right. flash it, though. There must be a flash. No one's got one. one. No one's got one. Players Dupree, there, the, the only one that's there with the flash is Dupree, but he's the one that would be needing to be flashed in. So Boomich has got this a real shot here. Now. Oh, here it is. This is the flash. Oh. No. Oh, that smoke, Whoa. perfectly timed. The gray screen should be Boomich. He's, he knows he's got more coming. Unloading his mag. 10 bullets Three is seconds. all he's got. 10 bullets. Opting for a fresh reload. No, opting for the deagle instead. They've got no options here. 25 seconds. Astralis, what do you do? Glaive's making the call. He's saying inner. He's screaming inner. And simple is too. He's rotated in. 18 seconds. Save. Device is in spawn. It's got to be. Device just fell back towards... Oh, my Lord. Magisk. 
has unleashed himself forward, but the rest, they're having none of it. They are keeping the guns. <laughs> a smoke grenade wins a round. Na'Vi, they'll take it. Oh, we're at double digits, Alex. I said I'd get excited around the 13 <laughs> mark. 13, okay, okay. So Actually, yeah, I think that's a lie. I said nine, so. Uh... <laughs> well, that was an exciting round, and that was, was. nine, so. Yep. Yeah, all in all, the clock whittling down here for Astralis and them having to save. And the reason that it's okay with them going for this, they have five more cracks. So hold on to yep. the guns as long as you can. See if you can make them work. Only problem is with four players surviving there, the loss bonus doesn't come through for those individuals. So here we go again. Astralis back on out. Same buy as last time. A little bit less utility for some of the members. Navi finally rocking this very, very potent full buy with all the goodies. Five diffuse kits, five sets of head armor, double orbs. Oh my gosh. Everything you want, everything Oops. you need. So early nade damage again. Glaven Dupree going to take a chunk of that. Put on down to 71 and 73 points of health respectively. Over towards Inner, they've opted for the two-man lean. Simple as there straight away. His rotation towards Yard, if something goes wrong, is going to be labored. Oh, that's ballsy from Electronic. He does tuck in enough. And they're playing this well. Oh, that's big frag from Dupree. The fact he's gotten away from that as well. Now a four on four, perhaps. Astralis have still got some fight left in round 26. Perfecto overly committed towards this brown holes. It does mean there's a gap. He'll have to intermittently check if anyone's walked down that ramp, and he is. Timing could kill him here. Oh, I'm nervous for him. Okay. Should he find a vice? We're cooking. And he has. Now a chance. Esetag gets it, though. Boomich elsewhere onto Magis, puts us into a two versus three scenario where Esetag, fast in hot pursuit of his 30 bomb, has got to come up clutch. Dupree, his partner in crime. If the bomb goes down, I start favoring Astralis here. If. Oh, so low. Just how do they get there? You do have Boomich at the bottom by Pop, and he has been... Saving again. Might have monster. to. Monster. 25 seconds to make their mind up as to what they want to do with this. Still looks proactive for now. Yeah, Boomich well and truly aware of this, calling as well to Simple, of course, to be prepared. And he is, as ever. There's now his tag with 12 seconds left. A monumental task at hand would have to do something truly monstrous. Not going to happen. Simple controls there. Na'Vi have grinded this game right back to the cusp here. Now, of course, Astralis are waiting for that one, you know, the, the straw that breaks the camel's back, but... I'll be staying strong. Wow, that was an interesting decision. I want to double check it to confirm. Oh, yeah. With the AK? Yeah. Yeah, so he's opted for the AK to just give that to Electronic, right? Because in favor of an orb. He can buy an orb. I right? know, I know, but I'm just saying that that is like, I mean, you can't afford to lose a round, so it makes a degree of sense there, but it just shows the priority in putting the AKs into the CT's hands. Mm. Double orbs are back out. AK given over to Electronic, so remember what he's capable of with it. Now, Ivy pressure. Nice incendiary. That will buy time. Oh, no, Magis has gone straight through. Oh, Lord, this could get a little bit messy. Electronic oh. makes short work of the round. That's why you give him the AK. Quick spray. 15 to 12, starting Ooh. to look like perhaps the overpass conversation started a little too soon here. Is this five in a row now? It is. Okay, well, this is uh, where we really look in towards the business end. Do Australis have any set pocket strats they've been keeping? Time to pull it out would be now. Freeze time ticks on down. Everybody having everything they need going into round 28. Just one for Astralis to take us to that fourth map. Na'Vi, three more on the trot here to take us to Different overtime. Different smokes. I wonder what they're up to here. Looks like a ruse. It does. Do they find out though, Na'Vi have been very proactive and even challenging looking towards these smokes. And it looks like, again, they're going to uncover. Yeah, look, there he's calling it clear. Here. That's huge. That's a huge amount of information. Simple's Boomich. coming. Yep, Simple's rotating. Boomich look, wants to take back a pop control. Simple deploying a second smoke on the inner. He might disrespect that. They are ahead of it. And Simple can pull the trigger just ahead of the flash. He wants another. Perfecto's found it. So is Simple. He's ripping him apart. There's only two left. Glaive and Device Whoa. trying to survive at this point. Glaive drops off. He hears it. Sound cues for Simple needs. The flick doesn't have it. Maybe Glaive's got something in the bank. Flamey takes him out of the equation. So just Device and a missed shot. A plant. Not even going to happen, as Boomich confirms it. And now Na'Vi are two rounds away from doing exactly what Astralis did 
back. Two 13, two halves, Chad, on train. I'm not so sure. Think about the rounds that Na'Vi have lost in this game, right? Remember that Essa tag one on two where he flanked through main and Perfecto was that last kill? Probably should never have won that round. The third round of this second half, they won with just peanuts, right? It was upgraded pistols. There was no utility. There was no armor behind it. And they won a round that they definitely should have put in the back pocket. So then you look forward. What, has it been one gun round? One gun round is all they've posted so far. And we're sitting here at 15 to 13. So Na'Vi are going to be kicking the themselves if they do lose this map because of the rounds that they fumbled. Yeah. Both teams really struggling here on the T side. The secondary AWP, you know, Flamey's been doing a fantastic job as well. Anybody who slips the net, Flamey's picking him on up. We did talk a lot about the double AWP setup. We've only really seen it out of one side. We didn't see Astralis picking it up. They didn't need it. <sighs> Gosh, the value of Simple has truly come alive here. He was actually quite quiet on that first half shot. Down, down, had... I mean, not many of them had much to say about the matter, but 24, as said, sitting by him. Double orbs out, everything they need. But on the other side, a polarizing stark comparison with the Tech 9s. A dash of utility, though, on two or three of the players here. And Electronic again looking for information. He finds even more. Dupree goes down, the trade comes in. And now just chaos is called. Yeah, and wow. <laughs> shot like that, Flamey secured the round. We are going all the way, folks. We could very well be the overtime, but I will remind you, 16-14 on Nuke, found by a 1v2 clutch. That could have been OT on Nuke as well. Now, Na'Vi have been dealt the same hand. Do you take it to overtime or do you lose in a 16-14 fashion after so much hard work? I will remind you, Astralis needed three rounds and they found two of them by round 22. Now we venture into the 30th. Pressure mounting, decision-making at an all-time high. The next choice you make could determine your fate. Let's get into it. Slower approach this time round. No rush out main from Astralis here. No smokes to condition. Just default. One towards main, two towards Ivy. As a tag dealing with the inner player. Glaive above pop. Device has had such little success here. This has been mostly Flamey's territory. He played well ag ab ahead of the previous smoke. Last time he pushed in front of that after the back of this smoke. It looks like once again, he'll dip towards this. And again, this negates a little bit of what maybe Astralis yeah. are trying to garner. The uncertainty is no longer uh, with that play. Boomich diving into Pop Dog. They want to fight Astralis. They're willing and confident behind their crosshairs. Let's see what the call is from Glaive. The fact he's moonwalking IV and Dupree's going for the E-Box smoke. Or even the flashbang. Okay, so he wants to maybe set Device up for the first look. And the only contact he could find is Electronic, who is actively checking at main. Here's seconds. the flash. That's a tag and Device to swing. Oh, what was that? Is that smoke? Oh! <laughs> It's perfect from Na'Vi. Just as they were about to start looking for main info, they're denied and 15 seconds is shaved off the clock again. They're going to run out of time here if they're not careful. Can't save this time. Ivy and main is the hit. Simple deep in inner. If they find an early frag, they could snowball it. But Boomich has been a stopping factor as well. His presence has now been trying to be negated, but Electronic just found two. S attack bullies through 20 seconds now. They've got to keep sticking this. They cannot slow down. Oh, and Simple's finding frags. Overtime looms. Need a couple more. Doom found again for Dupree. And it's 15-15. Na'Vi with a 13-2 comeback as they roar at the top of their lungs. We have not finished with Train yet. I'm not afraid to
get her. Blow the roof off for a really want to see now. Go tell her. About to touch the sky, no helmet. Preparing myself for top, no weapons. On my own, shh, I stop caring. Cause they keep telling me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what can you say about that one? Grand final time, and it delivers on train. A 32 half. We thought Astralis had thrown down the gauntlet. I'm seeing some Aussie representation on the call ins. Fan cams all gathering for your European grand final of season 12 of ESL Pro League. Sponge, Pansy, and Machine, some of our names. And now Astralis and Navi presenting their game. Let's get into it. It is MR3 16K. And a 13-2 half in response puts Na'Vi into the driving seat. And that oh. momentum is quickly silenced. Dupree getting a first kill right out of the gate. Yeah, that's very key. Boomich has been patrolling that pop dog area round after round. So for him to pick up that in the early stages of overtime is huge and might be the gear shift for Astralis. Every time they tried to hit A late in the round, of course, Electronic was a big problem, but let's say they got past that issue. You're right, it was Boomich then that just came in and shut it down. The lean goes back towards B, however. Two players wait on the other side, Perfecto being one. And of course, simple. Just behind, not too easy to get past, but the flashes are good enough to force them off the angle. They're gonna get stepped towards the bomb site. Wow, he's precise, isn't he? Perfecto's done really well there. That's the equalizing frag, and he's jiggling to try and confirm there's more, but eventually the war of attrition is lost. Oh, good tag. I can't believe Flame even hit that. Wing clips S for tag. Stopping him from soaring too deep into the site. That's the necessary frag. Now he can go and he knows he's tagged. CZ into the head. S for tag dead. Now another device on the site. Or poised. And Sendry blocking his exit. Only a tech nine to keep him company. And Glaive. Oh, that smoke's oh, a bit of a gift. Device. Just climbed over his head. He must know he's there. He doesn't. Oh, device is about to get a freebie. Hiding in the smoke. Oh. He gets them both. Astralis gifted the double kill from Device using the smoke to his advantage. Round over, 16 pounds, just a little bit too late. Oof, all right, Astralis finally posting another round on the board for their T side here, and what a big one to do it in. That was an opening from Dupree onto That's Boomich. It. That's how it all started then, Device. What's he gonna do? Just, hello, uh, I'm chilling. Hmm. That's a weird... Yeah, why, why did I get stuck there? I don't know. Well, this is why. Device through the smoke. And into round number two we go. The double orb set up quite costly on the side of things for Na'Vi. With 16k and teammates dropping them over means that they should be fine to buy them every single round. Is there a priority on Pop Dog again as Magus this time? He's out to Olaf. Yeah, this is super pacey. Now, bear in mind, we didn't see too much of Flamey orping down this way. It was mostly towards Ivy. Electronic has been the founding factor of handling this. Flashed in, succeeds. Electronic looking comfortable, unfazed. Continues to push further forward. But look at the bomb. Look at the rest of Astralis. Yeah, the fact they threw two flashes just to catch him really does show how important that frag oh. was. And Perfecto again on inner. You test him. He passes with flying colors. Maybe Device can find a way back in. Looking good. Boys for the peak. Simple though. He manages to pluck another out of the pack on the jiggle peak. Electronic taking space and a lot of it. Anything Glaive wants to build towards Pop Dog likely to be ripped from him here. The bunny boiled. Electronic disappearing here. Hoping to catch Glaive on the re peak. That doesn't need to happen. It doesn't need to be his fight. And he realizes that. Has a smoke as well, so we can just cut 
Glaive off as he drops down Pop Dog. Their eyes are trained right now. Glaive, it's hard to see him getting anything done. That orb shot from Flamey almost sealing the deal here, but 40 seconds left. He goes down to Boomich. AK will be scavenged. They've got everything they need. It's the three riflers with three AK 47s, and we highlighted towards the tail end of regulation there that Navi were pr prioritizing that when they had the backs against the wall, dropping orbs when they knew that they could afford it so they could get those AKs out and going into the final round of the first half here in overtime. Navi will continue with that double orb setup. Flamey with 24 kills, 30 for simple. 25 for electronic. Things are looking fantastic for that star trio here. E-box and five lane smokes come out, but no territory being taken. A deeper smoke over towards... Okay. Oh. New There's look. More. There's more. He's got another. Already a double kill. Electronic fills the feed for the final round of the first half of this OT. It's not going to be Magisk's death just yet in the feed. He's managed to claw one back, and he's heading back track. Actually, Simple could have an issue here if he doesn't hit the first. But it's Simple we're talking about, so no issues there. Who do we have left? Device and Glaive. Now, Device is still committed to this, and he actually succeeds over Simple. Now, Device going to try and back away into the smoke, fall away from this problem. But Perfecto finds him very quickly. Wait, what? What, a, what an overtime he's Wait, having. What? I don't know how he found he that. He was just spamming. But <laughs> you'll take those. You definitely take those. Glaive in the clutch again. But I, I feel as though they may have lost where he's gone for now. It looks like adjustments made. Boomich is there, finds Glaive, comfy half. Two to one. I mean, it certainly sounds better than a 12-3 or a 13 to two. Here's some problems, however. Astralis, what they got away with in that first half was aggression. They were pushing Ivy. They were pushing Main. Yes. They were pushing up Pop. They were doing the double little magician trick, popping through the low ramp smoke and punishing box holes. Guess what? If I'm Na'Vi right now, I go for more of a direct approach. I'd probably just go over towards that B bomb site straight away, maybe throw my E-box smoke, my five lane smoke, and execute in us. Then you don't have to worry about the aggression. And in the early stages, you got Perfecto selling exactly that. Five smoke out, E-box smoke out, he's out towards Olaf, and the bomb is already heading back towards Inner. Okay, Boomich spotted Pop Dog. It's got all the trimmings of an inner hit, an outer hit, sorry. But Inner is where they go. There's only Glaive, and he's only on Z. They can take so much space here if they time this perfectly. He's playing anti-flash. He's anticipating the one deep. Throwing out one of his own design as he tucks into the site a little more. Yeah, they don't want that little nutmeg approach through that low ramp smoke to come through. And now the rotation will be here. So Esther Tag's coming on over. Are they still going to play retake? No. So they're actually going to embed themselves into the bomb site here. Esther Tag tucked in towards the bottom of the low ramp train. Glaive overseeing. And Na'Vi have stalled out, so the aggression does become a problem now. Because they didn't play so aggressively straight away, they will now have to keep their eyes up for pushes across the map. Nobody over towards Main. Territory could have been taken there. Over towards Ivy, just Perfecto watching that push. Towards B, passive as well. I'm curious as to what made Na'Vi stall out here. Their approach looked very, very clear from the start of this round. Smoke coming in, device committing further forward. Now we do have Perfecto slowly building through Ivy. Magus gonna spam, but his device who sees everything. Gonna let one cross, hits the second. They've gotta know this now. Boomish gonna try and cross, Ooh. he takes down Dupree, beheads him. But Perfecto, can the late play up Ivy make any difference now? This is a good chance for Perfecto, he needs a multi-kill. Oh, no! No! Not even one! I thought there was a multi on the cards. Device and no scope puts us at 17. All right, these last two rounds, it's either a second overtime or two in a row. Let's see this again. Device, just look at this mouse pad move. Ugh, just about getting there. Perfecto is going to be a little bothered by that one. It's okay, though. He's been making huge plays over the course of this CT side overtime. This one just not to be added to the list. Well, Flamey has a Krieg. This is very interesting. We don't see that coming out on the T side whatsoever in the current meta. So let's see what Flamey wants to do with that. Down pop electronic straight away. They're continuing forward this time, Na'Vi. No one up close now. It's going to be a lot of territory gain. Mages finds electronic. Oh! Perfecto! Burning. Simple, Simple gets it. Oh, God, it's a 4v3. Hold on. Magus is in danger as well. This is very aggressive it stuff. Is. Simple tearing Na'Vi closer now. He could actually do this. I can't believe I'm talking about a comeback here. Simple's double, but S attack's still alive. Not anymore. You know Simple, where he is. He knows where Device is. Can't hit the flick, but the bomb can go down. Device to clutch to save the Astralis hopes of doing so in the first overtime. Overpass is where they wanted to take it. Three rounds was what they needed. And now... 
It is just to avoid their fate. Na'Vi forging quite the comeback on their defense. Now to finish it off, the cherry on top required is a T round, just the one to take it and become your Pro League champions. ESL Pro League season 12, played entirely online. Na'Vi, a team who in 2018 played not a single game online, have managed to change their game to suit the current desires of, unfortunately, the, the realities of the global situation. They've managed to make it work. They have found their form in an environment that never suited them. Can they convert though? They're really using a lot of utility early, even more so now to deal with Dupree. They don't want these pushes to come in and they're constricting all the areas of the map. Early Molotovs towards Pop, Ivy main, but here we go, Totem Drop coming in. Dupree's not actively fighting it. He's fallen back towards E-Box. Nade, well-timed, oh, very well-timed. Might have heard it. Definitely does. They were wow. softened, but they live. Flamey's still alive, can pop right back on up. Flamey finding that frag makes this round winnable. I mean, had Dupree found the double then? I just see simple perfecto and electronic hitting that nasty slow pace that makes everyone kind of toes curl when watching Ooh. Na'Vi. Okay, so Smoke's just gone down low ramp right now. Esther Tag is passive with a secondary AWP. He's playing retake. There is always a chance that a T could have slipped down that low ramp and gotten behind the low ramp train. They do not know exactly what's going in towards the B site, but Magus pushing forward gives them a little bit of extra info. It's gonna be the second wave attack coming towards B, but he's on an island. The rotation will be coming in from the bomb train. Device and Glaive, they're the closest two to get on over and help them out, or they're playing retake to take us to overtime number two. I we loved love. it from him in regular time. We loved what he brought on train, but he has to do this now to save his side. Get them to that next map. That's the frag you need. Simple, gone. Esther Tag again delivering, and the flank is already coming in. Overtime, it reeks of another. Esther Tag oh. hits the shot he needed to, as does Glaive, and another overtime is required. These teams impossible to separate. And we're gonna go straight back into it. MR3, 16K, roll it back another. I'm ready for it. I hope you are too. Tell your friends, it seems the grand final's heating up. Whether or not we see overpass remains uncertain. Here's the question. Does one team crack the code with their T side and be able to post three? Yeah. Or do the CT side just stay absolutely stoic and lock out with three straight. Astralis, they're the first up to answer that question on the CT side, and back in they go with the standard by Estatag, not opting for the double orb this time round. Will just be Device rocking that single AWP. Oops. Oh, run boost. Good. It's very good. Device has to be very cautious here. <laughs> Raves it. Takes some damage. Tucks away. I wonder if we'll see any more CT-sided aggression out of Astralis. Navi have opted for Three men over towards Ivy, one dealing with the inner push, and Perfecto passive main. And we can see there's not too much aggression from Astralis so far. Okay, sorry, what? That smoke was just fading as Magus jiggled that. He's gone down, that's a free opening. That was something Na'Vi struggled with in the first half. All the top to follow, Glaive, hyper aware that someone could be around. And simple holds for now. I want to look at the other T's as well, see what they're trying to set up into motion here. We are down to just one smoke. So wherever this goes, should be quite indicative of intention. However, that build through Ivy is beginning. Boomich quite close, Electronic there with a flash, I believe, in hand. So this could be Glaive in a lot of trouble. It certainly could. The flash is likely. It's a tank looking for Brown Hall's info in the meantime, but it is this fight on Ivy that will be the first. Oh, speculative shots. He doesn't pull the trigger. He's so flash. He does well to find one, two, no bullets. Forced to back away, simple can't trade. Flamey's gone down too. This is perfect for Astralis. Only simple. He does well to find them both. The transfer on for an ace clutch. There should be no way, no world where he gets this and Dupree's angle confirms it. Nice spray, nice fragging. It will be the first of the second overtime going Astralis's way. Oof, all right. Well, I thought this opening here would have been enough to at least garner Na'Vi something to work with, but that was it. All three kills in the round coming from Simple and two of them in vain. Here we go again. Buy back out. As expected, time and time again. Nothing too unusual. No Krieg for Flamey this time. Yeah. Electronic into main, dropping out a flash. Simple looking for a pick early and Perfecto with pop control. Oh, he spotted him. Surprised he's still alive. 
He's trying to hide in the smoke. It works! Just for a second, Electronic adjusts the spray. First blood drawn, and it is against Astralis. To claw it back is Device, an uncharacteristic miss. A smoke for escape. Electronic adds a second to the tally. He's burning a little as well. Device trying to catch the trade on Electronic, but he chooses not to push the smoke. May just, did he get hurt? I, I'm pretty sure Perfecto just turned around, yeah. Well and truly aware of all intentions, just the two now left alive. Bomb planted, that's a good tag. Quick tag, couldn't convert. And now a 1v2 Device, already got the step on the ladder with the first kill, but there's still two against him. One E-Box. Perfecto just to flame his side. A Molly in a flash. Molly goes in, good Molly too. Gonna take the wider approach, isolates Flamey, but now Perfecto. Can you find him, Device? Absolutely not, you do not expect him there. And Na'Vi stabilize another round, 19-19. If Na'Vi can post two on the T side, you would feel the way that their CT half went. Obviously, we could say this for both teams, but sets them up to close this one out, puts them in the driver's seat nice of trades. overtime number two. This was really important, fragging from Perfecto. Getting credit where it's due. Lovely background and headband. Fan cams showing us the diverse, di diverse and eclectic mix of human beings that are fond of Counter-Strike. Same opening smokes here. Five lane E-Box. Uh-oh. That's different. That's very different. Look at the damage as well. Na'Vi taking a big beating to start off this round as well as the early Learning. casualty. Simple lick down by the Flames to 21. He's still on 37 to 27. Again, still finding multitudes of frags even in the face of adversity, in the face of a... 13-2 first half. They do manage to take us to overtime, though. Let's see if they can get any more. Astralis known for their tenacity in these kind of situations, though. Aegis rotating over. He's actually just picked up an AWP from spawn. They left that there, so he's picked up an AWP to help defend B. He's gone back to the weapons cache, brought it out, and it's the right place to keep it at the moment. Perfecto might be able to maybe keep some interest here towards Pop, but... It is the right place towards B for Magus and it's a tag. Again, he did it before. Will we see it again? Might do. Magus watching towards that top side of things. Down to 44 seconds. Still a bit of utility left on the tees. They can put down at least a smoke. Now it's just flashes and mollies. No more smoke to cover the ground. A molly comes back. Hinders approach. Flashes come in. Magus now ready, locked, loaded. Perfecto oh. down. You don't mean simple in those though, but it's a tag does. Oh, the third have been the icing on the cake, but it's just Boomich. 12 HP, 24 seconds. And this is this is a long shot. Oh, that's a that's long, a long throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. <sighs> well, we need to start thinking solutions, and we need to look at this from the T side. So what can Astralis do to get into these rounds? Now, Na'Vi with the double orbs, they're more than happy to play in front of a lot of these smoke walls and get aggressive. You see Flamey on top of the Ivy train quite often, and he's finding a lot of kills when they take territory coming out of Olof. So maybe they could go for a smoke wall towards Yard and then try and play through Ivy once yeah. Flamey's drawn forward. But it looks like over towards Foxholes is where the intention will lie. Device with that AWP in hand. Right, time to see how the Na'Vi defense fares this time around. No stranger to a disadvantage when starting on the defense. And a quick reminder for those playing at home, 22 is the number you're looking for. Deep nade finds no one. The T side did evade Astralis for some time, didn't look comfortable. A quick pick from Dupree in that first go of things, you can't keep replicating that. That's not going to happen again. So again, I wonder where they lean to. Seems like it will just be the B here to this stage. You can see the bomb now going back through the showers area, meeting up with that of Device and S attack. Over towards Ivy, we do see Magisk and Glaive. Now, if they can get a smoke off towards the sunny side of Ivy and then try and flank through and get a split going, they've almost got a free avenue right here. Just take a look how far forward Na'Vi are on the radar. Two towards Pop, one towards the bomb train. Yeah, sure, but if Simple starts firing off shots, Boomich could just fly up that ladder and really wreak havoc. It does require Flamey to hold the line. So much combat. Simple spots two more. Oh, my goodness, he doesn't drop off in time. Loses his life, and Perfecto can't control the spray. Just like that, Astralis are going to be picking themselves up the 21st, unless Boomich and Electronic have got something in store Quick. for us. He is. I know this is coming. They've got to, right? Yeah, now they definitely do. <laughs> Two players instantly turn and face. There goes Boomich and Electronic. 
Exceptional before, but Astralis now one step away. Oof. Navi need two rounds on the trot here just to take us to triple overtime. I think Astralis maybe have cracked the code. I love this approach. The inner split was a great idea, keeping Navi busy on both fronts. And the fact that Perfecto couldn't get a frag there and Simple was immediately traded meant that inner bomb site was open for business every day of the week. Even if it was just going to be the standard inner approach, it would have worked. So here we go. Potentially the final round of play here on train. Smokes, flashes, nades, it all flies on over. Now don't forget, Navi did the impossible before to even take it to this point. It should have been Astralis' all day long, but Estag is very far ahead, but he's burning alive. Oh dear. 7 HP is all he's got left, and Nader, wild tag would have put him down. And no instant success here for Astralis. I think a mosquito bite would get him at this point. Still, outdoor action starting to reach a bit of a slow down. Dupree and main still. Electronic has been challenging this out more often than not, so Dupree Definitely expecting some contact as the smoke fades. He's tucked in on the further angle, though, so a bit of a standoff in that. Greenwich might be trying to rock the boat a little bit. Oh, God, Electronic, really? One. He won't be ready for Electronic, though. Matt. Oh, oh, that's greedy. One of the seven deadly sins shows its face here at a crucial moment it's of the map. Up. Oh, and Perfecto's going to kept, be kept busy by s -Attack. Oh, it was early as well. Aye, oh. and RV just falling a bit short of the necessary. Oh. Are they falling for it? They are. They're already out of position. Flamey would have had this line, wouldn't he? I, I... Simple's thinking about backtracks. He knows it's a possibility. Two orbs. 25 seconds, though. He's one. Oh, he doesn't check it in time. It might favor him, though. 20 seconds. They need a plant, and that's Simple dead. Perfecto to clutch up. He's coming in from Z. It's just not realistic. It looks like Astralis have done enough. Nades, bullets, everything thrown his way. Na'Vi falling a little short of the mark. Imagine if they hadn't lost to those P250s, those Glocks. May not have even been overtime, but the overtime is won. Astralis are taking us all the way. Our grand final of season 12.